Okay, everyone, we are back with more uh, Deus Ex, everybody's favorite game, or at least my favorite game. So, um, last time we had just stacked up these crates here, and uh, let's go ahead and... There we go, that worked out fine. And what did we have here? I think we had, yeah, ballistic armor, but I already have some in my inventory. Can I... Yeah, there we go, ballistic armor. So, that's that. There's nothing here, just some burning barrels. Oh, and what was here? I guess I didn't check this. It's just a prod charger. How many charges do I have for my stun prod now? 40. I wonder what the maximum is. Anyway, um, okay, so this door does not open. That is a rat. I'll try not to step on the rat, even though it's just a computer game character and not an actual living thing. 20 points just for stepping in here. I guess for getting past that bot without getting killed. And lo and behold, it's the smuggler. What do you want? Why the booby traps? Afraid of something? Just precautions. Against what? Government's been having some kind of crackdown all year. People I know, they've been disappearing. Is that so? Think it's a big joke? Lift up a grate in the street. They got my friend, Ford Schick, in a secret lab next to the sewers. A lab? In the sewers? Maybe he was taken hostage by the NSF. These guys are pros. Definitely government funded. Interesting. Maybe I'll take a look. But I think you should have a little more regard for the United States government. If you're serious about going down there and finding Ford, I'll give you a deal on some hardware. Also, you'll need this. It's the key that can open the sewer manholes. Tell me about the hardware. I have a scope that will fit most handguns and rifles for 2,200 credits, a bioelectric cell for 800, and some light amplification goggles for 3,500. Okay, so, um... Light amplification goggles are pretty useless, because uh, they're single use. You use them once and then they're gone. And why bother? I mean, JC's vision is augmented anyway. He has the flashlight built into his eyes, so why bother? We can buy the bioelectric cell, but uh, yeah, we don't really need that. Um, I have two scopes already, but I have three weapons that can take a scope. So what I'll probably do is wait until I can buy this scope, and then with three scopes, I'll just scope out all three weapons at the same time, because that's just how I am. I'm so indecisive, I couldn't pick two out of three weapons to put a scope on. Uh, right now I don't have the money, but if we rescue this guy's friend from the sewers, or from the lab under the sewers, or next to the sewers, he'll, uh, he'll give us some discounts on this stuff, so maybe we'll be able to afford it then. So the scope is 2100 right now. Uh, I don't know how low he goes with the price afterwards, but we'll find out later, I guess. Too expensive. Maybe I'll try to locate your friend. Let's see, how much money do we have? Oh, heck. 2028, we're, um, 72 credits short? Oh, that's not, uh, that's not much at all. Um, alright, some cigarettes here. Computer here, I'm sure this smuggler won't mind us reading his, uh, his emails. Um, we can hack into this computer, but just so that, um... I don't know if you're actually supposed to be able to find the password somewhere, but online, on the internet, you can look up codes for this game and find the, the passwords. Let me just go ahead and put in the, the credentials. I actually wrote them down here because I anticipated uh, wanting to take a look at this computer here. So there are actually two logins here. Um, there's one called Hidden, and then the password is Trust No One with uh, number one. It looks here like a lowercase letter L, but it's actually a number one. There we go. So, um... Ah, this is interesting. This is an email from the Oracle. So, if you don't know what the Oracle is, it's a real thing. Or it was a real thing. I don't know if it still exists. But basically, the, it was kind of a... It was sort of a communal mailing system where if you had a question, you could send an email to the Oracle and each time some random person would be chosen to be the oracle and some random person would write the answer and say the oracle says this so it was it was kind of a thing a long time ago back when this was like i think 
even before the 1990s, before the internet was really in people's houses, when the internet was still mostly something in universities and military bases. I think it dates uh, to back then. So this is a little bit of uh, kind of history that they've put into the game here, sort of a historical reference to the Oracle. Like I said, I don't think it exists today, or at least I haven't heard of it in a long, long time. I was never a part of it. I mean, I was just a kid when, uh, when this still existed, but um, I have read about it. Anyway. The Oracle says, We did as asked and checked with our sources, pulled up black project lists from Dead Space Net Ghosts, performed intrusion runs on Throne 6G systems, everything. Called in all markers. Best we can say after eight variable cross check. Man, this is a lot of uh, non existent tech speak. They're really trying to couch this in language that doesn't exist. On all available info is your friend did some under the table work in youth. Very deep, very wet. Oh, I, I like it very deep and very wet. Few specifics, but we were to divine that it involved the chlorine assisted the chlorine assisted delivery of weaponized particles. Okay, so bioweapons. We show 86.73% likelihood that this work is contributing fact I think there should be an A here, is a contributing factor to his disappearance. Um, we can tell you this much as well. Uh, was not taken by any known national or international security organization. We cannot determine the responsible party, and this troubles us. We consider our debt repaid. No further communication between us will occur. The Oracle would like to know the last joke you heard. Yeah, so this was the thing with the Oracle. At the end, it would give you an answer, and then it would give you a question, and you were supposed to answer the question that you had gotten. So it kind of went in a, a circle that way. That was how the Oracle worked. But again, this is a thing that goes way back to when email was still a, a new thing, like when email was still a new innovation that uh, that not everybody had. All right, and what is this? Limite d'affaires. Um, it's from... This looks... Um, I was going to say it looks like a phone number, and then it's going to say, but it's probably supposed to be an IP address, but actually it's neither. I don't even know what this is. It's probably some fic It's obviously some fictional form of network address that exists in the Deus Ex universe. Um, nous trouvons vos limites acceptables. Nous n'attendrons à que ceux les, les éléments en question fournissent... Okay, I, I really... I really can't make much sense of this, to be honest. Uh... Oh, you know what it is? It's um, it's a login for an ATM. This is uh, once again, this is an account number here, and this is a PIN. So this is another um, bank account that we can log into and get some money out of if we want to. The rest of this, um, I don't know. You can. It, it definitely looks like real French. I'm pretty sure this is actual French, so you could translate it using you know some translator if you uh, if you're really curious. But it's just just filler text. It's obviously not important. So that's one account there. And then there's another account that you can read from here called Chick. Uh, so the guy's uh, friend's name is Ford Schick, the guy whom we're supposed to rescue out of the sewer or out of the lab next to the sewer. His name is Ford Schick. So the username makes sense. And then the password's a bit of a joke because um, Schick in real life is a brand of Razor or was. Is it still a brand of Razor? I don't, I don't know if I've ever seen a Schick razor. I always just see Gillette and stuff like that. But maybe, maybe it's still it's a brand of razor. I don't know. But it's kind of a, it's kind of a joke. It's a little bit of a, uh, not a play on words, but kind of an inside joke. Um, but Mr. Schick does not have any emails, so that was a, that was a waste of time. All right. So uh, let's see. Where's Smuggler? Oh, there he is. Okay. Do we have anything here? We have a candy bar which we can pick up. Nothing on this table. I think there's nothing down there. Just a couch here. We could pick up the couch using our super strength augmentation, but I'm not going to bother. And the smuggler, of course, doesn't bother um, or doesn't mind us walking up here into his private quarters and looking around. It's the normal thing that normal people do when they visit friends, right? So, yeah, nothing back here. Uh, let's see what's in these crates, shall we? Here we have more machine gun ammo or assault rifle ammo. And here we have more prod charger ammo. Ah, and now it says I have enough of that type of ammo. It's funny, I was just speculating what the limit is, and now, uh, now I have... The game is freezing again. There we go. Um, right, 40 rounds. Okay, so 40 rounds of 40 charges with the, uh, with the prod charger is the limit. And now the game became too bright. Sometimes I have the problem where the game gets way too dark, and now it suddenly became inexplicably brighter. I don't know why weird rendering problems that I...
continue to have with this uh, with this game renderer. There's a hole here, and then there's this path around, but there doesn't appear to be anything. I thought maybe there might be something hidden in the corners here, but there is not. Here's a book. Basic firearm safety rules. Um, I honestly think that most of this is like uh, it, like it goes without saying like even somebody who has never taken a firearm course or handled a gun in their life could probably just intuitively understand that most of these things make sense but okay if you ever if you've never handled a gun in your life and you plan to someday then okay I guess this is good to know but again I think most of this stuff is Always have your firearm pointed in a safe direction. Yeah, I mean, don't point it at, at people, even if you're sure it's not loaded, or even if you... Yeah, never point a firearm at anyone you're thinking you don't intend to shoot. That is, that is like, the first rule, or one of the first rules of, uh, of handling a gun. Anyway. The Modern Terrorist Handbook, Section 7, the Computer Virus Cultivation. Um, okay. None of this is related to... Uh, to the game. Like, none of this is actually stuff that you'll need to know for the game. Unfortunately, you don't use any computer viruses. Th this game is not like a, a serious computer hacking simulation. The computer hacking just consists of clicking the hack button and waiting until that bar goes down. There's no there's no sophisticated uh, information security um, kind of intrigue that goes on in this game. So this is just color text. Also, Undernet, you see this reference to Undernet? I, I saw it also on Smuggler's computer. Undernet is a real thing, but it's not, uh, it's not any kind of secretive, uh, illicit network. It's just a, a chat network. Remember IRC? For those of you who know what IRC is, you'll probably, well, you'll probably know what Undernet is already. There's Fnet and then there's Undernet. Those are the two big ones. Let's take a couple flares, even though I'll never use them. Here's a lockpick. Don't mind if I do, thank you. Here's another book. The Reluctant Dictators. Um... Okay, I've been, I've been spending too much time looking at filler text already, so again, you can pause the video if you want to read that, but... Uh, there's a light here, that's nice. Um, here is a bed with a pillow on it. Under the bed, there's not. Well, there's this can of soda, which I don't need. And here's JC looking all cool with his sunglasses. Maybe turn that off, save some electricity. And down here, there is a security keypad. Now, you can just put in the three-digit code. I do not know how you're supposed to know the code. I don't know if there's any place that you can find it in the game. I think there are some pads like this where you're just, um, you're not expected to find out the code. You just, you're supposed to, expe you're expected to hack this with multi-tools. Now, we could hack this with five multi-tools, but again, if you look up on the internet, a list of codes for this game, you'll find out that the code is basically, it's it's 432. It's basically Paul's code, because remember in Paul's hotel room the code was 4321. Here it's the, the same except without the one on the end, so it's 432. There we go. And what do we have here? An, a clip modification. I don't have any room in my inventory. Hold on. Let's pick up that med kit. I'm up to 11 med kits. Here's some thermoptic camo. Have I, uh... Have I ever shown thermoptic camo in this game? Now I'm wondering if I've if we've ever seen what that is. Let me pick up those two objects, and I'll just quickly take a look in my inventory at the um, at these two items. So thermoptic camo is um, it's basically um, for invisibility. So ballistic armor is to make you more resistant to ballistics to bullets. Uh, but this is, yeah, as, well, I mean, camo, camouflage. It just uh, makes you uh, invisible to humans and bots for a while. But again, it's it's time limited. It only lasts for a few seconds and then it's used up. So who cares? Uh, weapon modification clip. Make I can make uh, I can make my clip bigger with this. Let's go ahead and once. Actually, hold on. Last time I used it on the pistol. How many rounds can this store? Thirty rounds. Is that? Ah, uh, what the heck, let's go ahead and use it on the on the assault rifle. Now we're up, it's a 10% increase, now we're up to 33 rounds. And this thing we don't need. I'll go ahead and toss that away and retrieve my crowbar. Okay, fine. I think that's all we can do here for now. So let's head out of here. 
and head back to the mean streets of New York. I'll go ahead and save my game briefly. Visited Smuggler. Oh yeah, and once you meet the Smuggler, this bot becomes friendly. So when you first come in, uh, the bot tries to kill you, but after you've spoken with the smuggler, the bot uh, is no longer hostile to you, so it just sits there harmlessly. So theoretically, you could maybe get like that. If you wanted to jump over laser beams again, you could probably get that couch that smuggler had and jump on the couch and use that to jump over the beams, but there's no need. Um, one thing I do want to check out is what's up here. We need the crate to get into this little uh, little enclave here. This just goes up to, well, you'll see. It goes to... Eh. We're in the... We're, we're in a, a truck trailer, and these are the two... Obviously, the two doors in the back of the trailer. I thought that we might get some points for being here, but I guess you only get points if you actually open up these doors. But it's kind of pointless, because you can just... Uh, yeah, I don't think we get many, uh, I'd like to get the skill points, but I don't think you get very many skill points for getting through those. Hold on, how many lockpicks do they take? Two lockpicks? Yeah, it's not worth two. I mean, I can probably spare the two lockpicks, but it's not worth two lockpicks just to get, like, 20 skill points for exploring that area, so I'll go ahead and leave that. Um, and I will take the, uh, the elevator up and out. Okay, and here we are back, uh... Wow, that door just passed right through me. Alright, here we are back out on the streets of New York, where we, uh, where we went to the smuggler's place there. Uh, real quick, let's check out what's over here. So I think I mentioned before, there is a path here. You know, it doesn't really look like it at first, but yeah, you can go around here, around the side here, and then... It's a basketball court. Do something, man! They're gonna kill him! Why? What's going on? This guy doesn't say anything else. Nothing. I checked his one pockets. Day, man, you don't I'm live underground not and not have one of Charlie's cards. Make him take off his shoes. I just sleep down there. They don't give you money unless you're on the council. Take off your shoes. Charlie has no reason to be stingy if he has a currency encoder. They just hacked a few accounts. They have some extra cash. That's it. I'm not asking again. It's just a bunch of us. We go down there to get out of the cold. All right, we'll do it the hard way. Uh, this looks like... Hey, come back here. All right, so we took care of these two NSF guys. That guy's just standing there holding his head in terror while the other guy started running around. Oh, now the other guy started moving a little bit as well. All right, this guy didn't have anything. What about the other guy? Oh, buckshot shells. That's nice. These guys didn't look like regular NSF. They're not wearing body armor. They're just dressed like regular people, except they have those beanie hats on. Did you see that? Yes, I... That was uncalled for. You mug people great. You need the dough. But you show some respect. What were they after? Especially when it's your ally. They came to us. They wanted an underground base. So those guys were NSF? Yeah, the NSF give guns to anybody who wants to fight. A lot of people just take the guns and do what they want. So the terrorists are based in the subways? The sewers? They need to move some kind of secret equipment. Our tunnels are like the crossroads. Tell me how to find this base, and I bet I can get the NSF off your back. Underworld. Just remember that word when you see Curly. He lets people in. Okay. Me, personally, I don't rob. I think it's wrong. Well, that's very noble of you, sir. I think Curly went underground, but remember that password. You might need it someday. Appreciate the help. The NSF are all right. It's just some of the people that hang around them, you know? I think Curly went underground, right. but remember that password. Oh, yes. You might need it someday. There's a basketball here. Now, um... Hold on, let me save quickly here. 
or not so quickly since it takes forever for the many to show up. Basketball. Now, this game was designed by Warren Spector, and um, I just realized that his name sounds like War Inspector, but no, his name is Warren Spector. Um, like Phil Spector, except Warren, not Phil. Um, and Warren Spector's games tend to have Easter eggs involving throwing basketballs through hoops. I believe there is one in both System Shock games, and... Was there one in Bioshock? Well, he wasn't he wasn't involved in Bioshock, but Bioshock is kind of the spiritual successor to System Shock. Um, what other games did he work on? Um, I'm I only know Phil Sp uh, Phil Spector, <laughs> Warren Spector. I only know Will Warren Spector from System Shock and Deus Ex. I know he did some other games, but I actually can't think of what they were now. Um, it's usually not easy to do, but yeah, it's. It's a little difficult to actually get the ball. Signed him up for the Knicks. There we go. Yeah, so that's not a... It's not a particularly thrilling uh, Easter egg. It's also very generous of the game to actually give me the message, even though I did not actually get the ball through the hoop. Can I, uh... Does the ball not... Does the ball, like, not actually go through the hoop? Because it would be nice if it actually went through the hoop instead of... Okay, you know what? I don't care. Forget it. I think I, I think that's the Easter egg. I think we already saw it, so that's fine. All right, what's through here? A couple of garbage cans, a couple of garbage bags. Court upholds New York grid law. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, some garbage over there, and more garbage here in the corner. Back off, man. Back off, man. What'd I do? You didn't do anything. What would I do? Why are you asking me? I ain't bothering no one. Oh, are you sure? Back off, man. All right, all right, all right. Um, all right, so over here, there is nothing. This is the two doors that we... So remember when we came up from the ladder from Smuggler's Place? These are the two doors that... Uh, that I was behind before, so this is the other side. So, like I said, you can you can pick the lock or, or break the doors or blow up the doors and get just a few skill points for getting through them, but it's not really worth it in my opinion. I don't know what... Uh, I cannot quite read... Something help kids? Is that a crutch or a needle that's crossed out there? I don't know. I don't know. The, the texture resolution is just a little too low to to, uh, to read what that said. But anyway. All right. So, yeah. So, that's all that was here. There wasn't really a whole lot here. Um, we're running out of places to visit in New York. I will definitely want to go underground and look at that lab where, um, where Ford Chick is. And after that, then, uh, you know, we'll want to go into that building over there because that's where our mission target is, as I said. But um, there's one place that I still haven't been, and that is... the Underworld Tavern. So we might as well head in here and see what's, uh, what's going on here. This place is not terribly important, but... Um, might as well stop in and uh, take a look. This is the same, yeah, this is the same four messages that we have seen several times, and the other computer has the same, uh, same messages. So can we, can we hack both of these ATMs? I assume so. If I say hack, and then go to the other one and say hack that one as well, I assume that the money pools in these two are separate. 205 credits, that's not bad withdraw. And yeah, I know that I could put in the, the codes, you know, the, the account numbers and PIN numbers that we found and get more money that way, but I just can't really be bothered, honestly. I'm, I'm sorry. I just... Like I said, money in this game is really not that uh, not that useful most of the time anyhow, so... Three credits. That's, that's not bad. With the money that we have now... Waiting for my inventory to show up. Yeah, with this money that we have now, we could have already bought that scope 
and then I would have, yeah, then I would put the scope on this, this, and this. But we'll do that when we go back to Smuggler. It won't be, um, it won't be too much longer. So, let's see. Pinball machine. Hi, Ambrosia from a drug dealer. We're talking about your wife, the Grey Death. I don't know. If I gave it to her, and it was cut... JoJo's good for it. People know him. He'd be hanging from a streetlight if he was selling bad vaccine. Hey, Shay, Cape Cod. Here's a little vodka this time. Coming up. Guess I have to do something. So, the worker suddenly became you Dan. You never forgive yourself if... I know, I know. It's to be expected. Ambrosia is a controlled substance. Most people don't even think it exists. To be pain and chits in a grimy alley somewhere. You ought to be thankful that dealers got their hands on it. A week from now, listen to me. I say this for your own good. Next week, it might be too late. So the woman remains woman, but this worker suddenly became Dan. Somehow we, somehow we discerned his name without even talking to him. Let's let's talk to him. Yes. So let's see. Um, should we be nice? Should we should we be relatively courteous and say, "Oh, I thought I heard you say Ambrosia." Or do we want to say, "Tell tell me where you plan to get Ambrosia, or I'll make sure you're arrested on conspiracy charges." Hmm. Actually, I'd really like to see what he says in response to both of these. I should have saved my game before coming in here because uh, I actually would really like to see the response to both of these. Okay, let's be nice and uh, try this. Just curious. I thought I heard you say Ambrosia. My wife has the plague. He already lost his daughter. Sorry to hear that. So do I trust some street punk called Jojo to get me pharmaceuticals? Trust him with my wife's life? I thought Ambrosia was an urban legend. Jojo probably just wants to sound like a player. I shouldn't get my hopes up. I don't know what to say. You just have to do what you think is right. Okay, we got the answer anyway. He's getting it from Jojo. Whoever Jojo is. I think he should do it. Alright. You look exactly like that woman who got upset I'm at me. Do it. I'm glad. I hope she does better. Can't be any worse for her than morphine. Hey, it's Shay. One for the road. You look exactly like that woman who got upset at me for being in the Unatco women's uh, restroom. Can I ask a question? Go right ahead. I'm looking around for a power generator, possibly hidden, large enough to power a building. You in real estate? I just need to find it. Oh, oh, oh of course. You know, I tied in power at a place a few blocks south, a warehouse. Strangest thing, they wanted to conceal these gas-driven generators on the second floor. Didn't give a hoot if their own people got asphyxiated. How do I get over there? No way through the blockades now. We went over some rooftops to get there. There was a lift. The code was 3316, I think. Thanks for the tip. That's nice, but I think we already had that code. Oh, let me check our, uh... Let me check our goals and notes here. Code to the, to, code to the rooftop lift is 3316, but I think we had that from somewhere else, didn't we? Thought we did. Maybe not. Huh. For some reason. Okay, I guess we didn't. Well, it's good that we talked to this guy. His wife is very sick. Oh well, yeah, the Grey Death will do that to you. Hi, my name is Meg. Oh, hi, Meg. But okay, this guy didn't tell us his name. But we just somehow know that he's Dan. This woman told us her name, but the game still calls her Woman. I think he should do it. I also worked on their hydraulic system. If you ask me, I don't think one of those guys has seen a generator before in his life. You're a good man, Agent. Uh, how does he know I'm an agent? Hold on, hold on. Where is this exchange of information happening? Somehow we figured out his name, even though he didn't tell us. Somehow he figured out I'm an agent, even though we didn't tell him. What, what's going on here? Are we commu communicating through telepathy or what? Hey, what is this stuff? Heavy water? Uh, that did not at all match the caption that appeared on the screen. Here's my favorite financial instrument. It's true. You can taste an economy going sour. Hey, what is this stuff? Heavy water? 
Okay. Well, now he said what? what yeah. You're a good man, Agent. All right, all right, all right. So, uh, let's see. What do we have here? I have a candy bar. I'll take that. Choco honey. Here we have a bottle of liquor, which we can drink to restore some health. And cigarettes to lose the health. Another bottle of liquor. Why are there bottles of liquor just, like, sitting around on the tables? I think, isn't it usually that you have to order the liquor and then, you know, somebody will drink it? I mean, they don't just leave alcohol in a bar. They don't just leave booze sitting on tables for people to pick up. And anyway, let's get some soy food. And, um... Let's... Oh, and here's some more soy food. What can I get you? You work here. You must know the area. Heard of an old warehouse with an illegal power generator? Not exactly, but if you're looking for a warehouse, you should probably start in the warehouse district. Duh. Where's that? A few blocks south. Not a bad walk, but the riot police have blocked the roads because of the NSF. I'd like to check it out. Well, you may be out of luck. Even though one of the old warehouses faces onto the park, I don't know how you get inside. Sounds like a good place to start. Something to drink. Everything in the bar, snacks too, just ten credits. Uh, I don't think we really need any snacks. We have an, a whole inventory inventory full of soy food and candy bars. That's some heavy augmentation. Yeah. Axionetco, what's it to you? I'm in the business. Well, I was in an early program, okay? We can still polish a glass. Good luck with your business. She's a little bitter about, uh, about her augmentation. She's, li she's like Gunta. She's, um... Uh, you know, she considers herself deformed because of the visible... The taps out. Only bottles. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we can buy a beer, a candy bar, or a soda. I don't really need any of those. She considers herself deformed because of the visible bio-augmentation on her arms, although, in my opinion, she's actually not, not that bad. I mean, maybe it's just a reflection of what low standards men have, but I think, uh, I think she's uh, actually quite... Uh, yeah, anyway, okay. Shoot. No, I didn't want to Never talk mind. to you. I just wanted to take this soy food from the table here. All right. Let's just take a quick peek here at what's behind the bar. So, here's a clay pot, which we can... It's about time you called it a night, don't you think? <laughs> uh, okay. Another med kit. A frying pan. And a pot. Let's see. Can we, uh... Slow down, Tex. Uh, um. Now she didn't respond. And wait, is that it? Taps out. Oh. I don't want to buy something. I'm not trying to talk to you. Oh, that's interesting. I thought she had. Usually, I thought she has a uh, a shotgun there behind the bar, but apparently she does not. Maybe she has it later in the game. I don't know. Oh yeah, that guy's standing there. That guy is going to be interesting to talk to, uh, but I will save him for just a little bit later. Um, let's get some more soy food here. Talk to... Oh hey, look who it is. It's Andre Renton with cigarettes and a soda. I talked to your father. He asked me to invite you back home. No strings attached. How sweet. You could at least let your father know you're alright. He knows where I am. You mad at him or something? No, but I don't want him running my life like he runs that cheap hotel. He doesn't do such a bad job. He never got nowhere because he never took chances. That ain't me. I'm gonna do things my way. I think you should be more grateful for what he's done. Let's leave it at that. Mind your own business. I don't need you or anybody telling me what to do. Somebody should take a wrecking ball to that scummy hotel. I don't need you or anybody telling me what to do. Let's talk to this young lady here. You the guy that helped Sandra? I think your friend is going to be all right. What about Johnny? He's on his back in the alley. Serves him right. About time. What can you tell me about his boss, Jojo? Oh, Jojo, he's nothing, man. We used to go out. His body mods? Cosmetic. Scars? <laughs> I saw him cut his face one time just so he'd look mean. Maybe I'll cap his ass, too. Well, if you ever want to get into the warehouse where he hides out, I know the code. It's 3316. Thanks. You've been very helpful. J uh, JC is starting to talk like a, a, a real gangster now. Maybe I'll cap his ass, too. JoJo shouldn't stick us with guys like Johnny. That ain't cool. So 
Sandra looks a little shaken up. I hope she's all right. I don't know why Sandra doesn't just stay with her dad. He's okay. At least she's got somebody. Jojo shouldn't stick us with guys like Johnny. That ain't cool. I've actually never really been somebody to use cool in the sense of, uh, I mean, cool to me has always meant something good, like something, you know, really positive. Uh, but people today often use cool in the sense of, sorry, food, in the sense of, um, like, acceptable. Like, is it okay if I do this? Yeah, it's cool. Um, I just, somehow that just sounds very, um, I'm just, I'm just too old to, to use the word in that sense. To me, it's like, if, if you win a million dollars in the lottery, that's cool. But, uh... If you're just saying it's acceptable if you uh, if you do that and you, and you express that idea by saying yeah that's cool, um, it strikes me as very uh, actually very unacceptable. I'm not cool with people using cool in that sense. So there you go. It's still going on, isn't it? They're shooting people right outside the bar. And what a sweater it is. I don't know what to do. Uh, just keep walking around in your sweater, ma'am. I gotta get home. You can stay here for a little while longer. This man came around. He sent everyone in here, but he never said what to do next. I guess wait until the fighting stops? I wonder if it's safe yet. Probably since they killed everyone on the street, except the Unatco troops. This man came around. All right, all right, all right. He sent everyone Okay, so, um... Oh, hey, pool table. And, yeah, you can shoot the pool balls, but... The game does not simulate uh, pool ball physics very well at all. Like, yeah, one ball got displaced by the cue ball, so you can you can actually do this with all the balls. So you can keep doing stuff like this, but it's really, yeah, it's not a very good it's not a very good physics simulation. Basically, only one one ball at a time really moves. Uh, let's chat with this fellow here. Used car salesman? Question mark. Joe Green. Midnight Sun, glad to know you. What can you tell me about what's going on out there? Sorry, regulations prevent me from talking to the press. Regulations, huh? So you are part of the crackdown. Like I said, I have nothing to say. Too stylish for the National Guard? Too athletic for NYPD? You must be from UNATCO. I really can't be bothered right now. Well, that's, uh... That's... How about I ask you a few questions? Splendid! I certainly would like to know what an international anti-terrorist organization expects to find in a time like this. Um... If we say something about a secret NSF power generator, that's probably just going to end up in the newspapers. And, you know, I think if we choose... Yeah, actually, you know what? Let, let's just go ahead and do it. Heard anything about a secret NSF power generator? Uh huh. Playing the detective, are we? I take it you've been assigned to eliminate certain weapons systems, defenses, maybe? Am I getting warm? Just answer the question. Let me be more pointed. How does it feel to be ordered to murder civilians just because they support the fastest growing political movement in this nation's history? In a democracy, armed rebellion is criminal, not political. Rebellion, as the Declaration of Independence tells us, is not only our right, but our duty when we have suffered a long train of abuses and usurpations. And suddenly found out his name is Joe Green. This is gonna make a great story. What's gonna make a great story? That you met an agent in a bar? Keep me updated. Keep you updated on what? I didn't tell you anything. Don't worry. I'll say sources within you, Natco. If I quote you. If you quote me about what? Hold on. Mr. Green, I didn't tell you anything. I specifically told you that I don't have any information for you. And yes, I mentioned an NSF generator, which I probably shouldn't have done, but that, that in itself is not a story. Keep me updated. Sheesh. Ridiculous. Is this the same, uh... I don't know why Sandra doesn't oh, yeah. just stay with her dad. He's okay. At least she's got somebody. The same woman, so... All right, so here we have a couple of telephones and a cigarette vending machine. Here we have a unisex restroom. Wow, this is a big restroom. It's like a huge, this is a huge restroom. Some, uh, some kind of trough, so instead of a real proper sink, they just have a trough. And I don't think there's anything in the toilets. Yeah, nothing here, just 
toilets. All right. Well, that was that. Um, there's the exit, but let's not forget to talk to this guy before we go. Pilot guy. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Hey, you look like the vigilante type. What if I said I knew where you could load up on military hardware? You mean that guy smuggler across the street? Already know him, huh? Too bad. Hey, how about I tell you about something you can't hear from anybody else? What's that? Area 51. You heard of it, right? Actually, I'd rather hear whether you know anything about a warehouse with an illicit generator. I worked out there. Most people think they got aliens from another planet, but I didn't see any flying saucers. You want to hear about it? I'll tell you. For the price of a beer. Um, okay, I can afford the price of a beer, but my inventory is full, so... Let me actually... First, wait a bit for my inventory to pop up. Uh, let me drop something. Uh, I'll drop this fire extinguisher for a sec. Oh dear. And the game got dark again. Oh man, this is so aggravating the way the game will just... Uh, will just suddenly get... The, the brightness will just suddenly go all crazy when I, uh, when I bring up the menus. That's really... Uh, I guess it's going to be a constant thing. I don't have any solution for it. I mean, you saw at the beginning of this Let's Play, I had I had bigger problems with the other renderers, with uh, with uh, OpenGL. I think my recording software doesn't recognize. It just didn't pick up OpenGL at all. And then DirectX, the uh, DirectX uh, renderer was too dark. Like it didn't uh, it didn't show. Uh, It, yeah, the brightness really, uh, the brightness control just didn't work at all. Is it going to show me anything? I'm just waiting until the, the graphics come back, because usually, usually after a while, it'll, uh, it'll start coming back, but I'm not, I'm still not seeing anything. Wow, this is really annoying. Um... I'd like to. I'd like to get this this bar done with. I mean, I could just stop the video here. It's it's about time to stop the video anyway. But I'd just like to like talk to this one guy and just get this over and done with, so I can get the video done, so I can finish this part of the video. Because otherwise, I'll have to start the next video talking to this guy again. And that's just. I mean, I could do that, but come on, man. Can I? Can I? Seriously, like, can I please just see something? I can't see anything. Okay, hold on. I'll save the game. Talked to pilot guy. And I'll try loading a... Uh, I'll load a, a different game and see if... Uh, yeah, so here there's still... Game actually, something popped up there, so it it actually will show the uh, the overlay text if you move the mouse over something that you can interact with, but it just doesn't show any of the actual rendered graphics. All right, and if I go back and load this game now, yeah, it's oh man, what a what a stupid thing. Okay, um, okay. I'll just go ahead and leave it at that then. We'll uh, we'll talk to the pilot guy next time in the uh, in the next video. So, thanks for watching, everyone. Sorry for the uh, for the problems, but uh, I will. Uh, oh wait, actually, now it's starting to come back. Yeah, just as I was saying, I was going to stop the video. Now I can see the uh, the details. Now the game's starting to brighten up again. So, okay, uh, let's wait for it to look reasonably visible. Yeah, there we go. Now it's now it's fairly visible again. So okay, fine. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and load the game and try that again. So this guy wanted a beer. So let's go ahead and get a beer from the taps out. Only beer, please. There you go. Got a forty. Nice. What do you have for me? You can have this beer. You can have this beer. 
That one's warm. Give me something from the bartender. This is a glitch in the game. Uh, this always happens. If you buy a beer from from the bartender, uh, he will claim this guy will claim that it's warm, even if you did get it from the bartender, which I obviously did. It always ha it, it, This happens every time I play the game, so it's it's just a it's a bug in the game. So we will have to get another beer. Shoot. Beer, please. There you go. All right, and this time it should work. What do you have for me? You can have this beer. I appreciate it. Yep, I know for a fact it's not just for government research. I've seen all kinds of executives coming and going. I'm sure plenty of bureaucrats fly out there. Billionaires, big executives. I think the whole place has been taken over by a private corporation. Not likely. Something's going on underground. I'm a pilot, which means I didn't get any access to the main complex. But a lot of rock comes out of there. It's some kind of mine. But what I don't understand is why they're always laying more fiber optic cables. A pilot? What do you fly? Copters. You know what I think? I think that's where the UN moved Echelon 4 back when they promised they were going to stop spying on people. Surveillance is a very distributed technology. To centralize it in one large facility would be very unusual, even for the UN. I bet they did it. They want to centralize everything. Every computer on the planet. Know anything that's worth the price of a beer? Ah, this old bird's had enough. Hell, I'm about to go on duty. What kind of chopper pilot starts work at midnight? You're with UNATCO, right? Why do you ask? I'm the one that flies your brother Paul to Hong Kong. He told me to watch out for you. I didn't know UNATCO hired pilots. The black choppers are run by the NSA to support various classified operations. The Pentagon uses them, the CIA. They hired me because I don't ask any questions. What was Paul's assignment in Hong Kong? Like I said, I know how to keep a secret. Even between brothers. So he's holding something back. The reason UNACO transferred him back to the States. Listen to your brother, JC. Respect his experience. Let's leave it at that. Your brother's one of the bravest men I know. Hmm. I sure hope Paul knows what he's doing. I hope so too, because it sounds like he's got something to hide. Check out the girl in the leather top. Oh, the bartender? Or, oh, that woman who said, uh, guys like Johnny aren't cool? One thing the Air Force never understood. I'm dependable. No matter what, I'm dependable. That's what they all say, pal. One thing the Air Force okay. never right. understood. Let's get our fire extinguisher back, and let's go out the back door. Or maybe, maybe he meant that woman, because that's not a leather top. He, he, he probably meant this one because that's that looks like a leather top. So we can go out the back door, and there's really no uh, there's no difference. It's just uh... oh hey, we got 150 skill points just for going out the back door off the bar. That's pretty uh, pretty spiffy. Yeah, so that just takes us uh, back here. Now we've been here. I don't know if you recognize this, but um, that's where the free clinic was, and back here. Did we read this? Oh. Somehow I missed that last time. Okay. And this here. Stay out of the town, bro. Bad shit going down. Yeah. So we've we've been here before. And hey, here's a uh a sewer crate. It's too strong for us to destroy it or pick it, but we have the key from uh, the smuggler. So, let's go ahead and save here and next time sewer manhole. Next time, we will go into the sewers and see the operation that the smuggler described and maybe rescue that guy Ford Chick. Let's uh, see what's going on down there. We'll see it next time. Until then, folks, thanks for watching, and I will talk to you all later.